Hi, I'm Roger, and while I'm not in the shop, I am going to show you something I made in the shop. It is a hardcover for a 36-inch Blackstone griddle. Uh, they're extremely popular. I've had this one here for, oh, about two years, and uh, we have another one at home with just like it, with a cover just like it. I want to show you how I made this cover. I know there's uh, a lot of hardcovers you can buy that are pre-made out of aluminum tread plate and diamond plate and all kinds of fancy things, but this one here cost me almost nothing. The only thing I had to buy were the handles on the ends. Everything else was uh, just scraps and leftovers from what I had before. So what this is is some uh, leftover scraps of plywood on the ends. Uh, what's across the front and back is a 1x6. And you're wondering what the dimensions are, I'm sure. Handy tape measure here. So the side piece here is 9 inches. This is obviously five and a half because it's one by six. And the uh, length overall, including the plywood, is uh, 38 and a quarter, which makes the top 24 by 38 and a quarter. The top is made out of uh, some aluminum that was left over from when we did our pontoon boat. If you've seen any of our pondu restoration videos, this was just uh, some leftover sheet material, and it worked out real well. Uh, this is put on with uh, staples across the top here. And I'll show you what the bottom of this looks like. On the ends here, just a couple of uh, cheap hardware store handles, actually from Menards. Uh, you can see the back is a 1x4. The front, this doesn't weigh very much at all. The front is a 1x6. And to keep some support in the center, in case somebody decides to set something heavy on it, I've, I put a strip of uh, half-inch plywood across and that's got a lead in on the uh, back 1x4 and the front 1x6. On the ends, uh, it's traced out and cut a couple slots for the uh, handle. So it makes it real simple to take this on and off and cover it when I need to. Just like that, nothing to it. Uh, of course then when we're we're at camp right now, and uh, when we're not here, I do put the soft cover over the top, try to help keep the dust and stuff out of it. And uh, while I'm talking about the uh, hard cover here, I guess I could show you another little mod I did with some of this leftover aluminum. A lot of people will go buy the dollar store scrapers to use as a windshield, keep the wind from, and we got a really windy day today. I'll, hopefully it's not interfering with the audio. And they set them along the sides. I took some of this same scrap aluminum and uh, just folded it over like this. And uh, of course the length varies because these were cut off scraps, but the uh, height of this is about four and a half. And it's got about a one inch bend over and I just hang this on the sides uh, if we have a wind problem like we have tonight. So uh, just a quick little video on something you can do for your Blackstone. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it didn't take me more than an hour or two to make the whole thing, including the painting. And that's just uh, black spray paint on there. So, hope you got a little something out of this. Maybe you want to make one for yourself. Uh, like I said, the cost here, it's, it's under $5 because all I had to buy was the handles. So, if you like this, uh, appreciate getting a thumbs up. And, of course, we're always looking for subscribers. And if you click that bell next to the subscriber button, you'll be notified of the next video. But until then, thanks for watching.